Hello, everybody. Welcome to Chin Fat. In this episode, I am continuing on covering the toolbar. Uh, we've gone through many of these items here in the previous episodes. In this episode, we're going to be going over these two items. I'm going to hold this down and select this, and you'll see the hand tool and the zoom tool. The shortcuts for those are H for hand. Let's select, get a regular selection tool. If you hit H, it'll select the hand. If you hit Z, it will select the zoom tool. And these two two tools are kind of useless because they can you can achieve it quickly uh, a little quicker through shortcuts. But uh, right now let's cover the hand tool. So I've got the hand tool, and the hand tool works if something has been zoomed up on. Let's let, let me uh, zoom up on this right here on this little bottom bar here. And now with the hand tool, you basically you can you move your mouse you move your mouse out here and you grab your timeline and you just drag it one way or the other. And this will not change any edits. It will not move any footage. It just moves up and down the timeline so you can view different spots of your timeline. So you can view different segments of your timeline. And that's pretty much it for the hand tool. I'm going to hit Z for the zoom tool and kind of show that. Uh, you'll notice the zoom tool now has a little plus in the middle of it. If you move this out on your timeline here and you click, it will zoom up. Keep clicking, it will zoom up until it can no longer, until you see these individual frame increments and you can no longer zoom up anymore. If you want to zoom out, hold down the Alt key on a PC, Option key on a Mac, and you click and it will zoom out and it will zoom out until you see basically your entire timeline. The reason why I say these are kind of uh, useless over here because most of this can be achieved. Most of this can be achieved through shortcuts. And the shortcuts are, and those basic shortcuts, let me choose my, uh, go back to my selection tool here, hit v, the letter V as in Victor, to go back to my selection tool, put my playhead right here. Now on the top of your keyboard, this is not on the numpad, but the plus and minus at the very top of the keyboard next to your, to your delete key will do this. It will zoom in if you hit plus, Minus will zoom out. I'm not holding any modifier keys or control or anything like that. I'm just hitting plus and minus, and it zooms in and zooms out. And then a quick way of seeing your entire timeline is uh, the backslash key, which is right above the direct, right above the return or enter key. If you hit that, it will show your entire timeline. It will zoom your entire timeline into one visible visible space. And that way, if you're quickly trying to look at a different clip, you can grab your mouse, move it around here, and now you can hit plus, 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 and zoom up, or minus, 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 zoom out. And that's basically how those shortcuts work. Basically, if you're zoomed up, I guess you could use your your hand tool. wouldn't wouldn't be much of a uh, much of much of a waste if you needed to move. If you're already zoomed up, you can hit H for hand, and then you can drag your timeline around and look at different portions of, the, of your timeline. So that's about it on the zoom and the hand tool. On the next episode, we'll be going over the basics of the type tool.